Moin, moin and hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Don Spectro here, today with another tip review, and I have for you the DD Hi-Fi, where's the branding here, ST35. Yes, this is a pair of tips or like a result of tips from DD Hi-Fi that usually, to my knowledge, only do like usually adapters and stuff like that. And when I saw that they have their own pair of tips that was not just OEM'd from somebody else, but I've seen zillion variations, I was like, yeah, that sounds interesting. And then adding to this, you also see the pricing, which is very attractive for only like three pa like three pairs here for about... What was the whole package? Like $9 or so? Yeah, this is definitely very nice price performance. And then, whoop, let's unbox it. DD Hi-Fi still decided to be nice and they give you a carrying case for your tips. And this all for $9 makes them directly, if you just see the deal on any web page, it's good. And when I bought it and yeah, you get three pairs. One is already out, two are still in. And today we are taking a look at what these can and what these can't. And yeah, uh, just sorting them in. These are very cheap per pair pricing. Like I said, it's like $9 what this thing costs and you get three pairs. That makes them basically the cheapest, like better in quotes, silicon tip that I looked at. Uh, because uh, even the cheap Zetna fit ear tips uh, would be like $6.5 per pair. Uh, spin fit would be like 7 to 7.5. Finally, about eight. Uh, soft ears liquid silicon and is uh, like XLastex like 9 to 9.5 and then crystal at like 12.5 per pair. So these are definitely really cheap and yeah let's take a look today what they can. Uh, starting off again with comfort before we talk about anything else here. Let me quickly push the treasure out of the picture. Go away and yes uh, so DD Hi-Fi, uh, of course, has a nice description here, which I uh, will definitely read for you because it's, again, it's great English. <clears throat> Medical grade silicon materials undergo secondary mixing and molding. The surface is then carefully finished with a skin-friendly coating to make it more comfortable to wear. So, are you any smarter after reading this? <laughs> I don't think I learned anything new here. Like. What surface finishing? What are you talking about? Medical grade silicon materials? Like, where are multiple here? I think this is just one material all, all together. And why is it multiple? Like, I'm, I'm confused when reading this. So I just wanted to read it for you because it's again one of those funny lines where I'm not sure if the marketing department really knows what they are doing, what they are talking about. And yeah, let's <laughs> directly jump into comfort. I have here the S version, as it said on the packaging, which is about 11 millimeters in diameter. M would be 12.5 and L would be 14. So similar to other tips that lack like SS and LL or ML, I think there should also be yeah, more variations here. First, I would say SS should be like 10 millimeters and then you should have like an ML or like in pure M should be like 12. And L, the 14 is I think a good choice. Uh, maybe name it LL and put there like a 13 millimeter uh, L in between because this can definitely again lead to problems where you don't find the right tip for your use case. Uh, height wise, they all have the same height and are about uh, 8.7 millimeters tall. And let's flip them around. Inner diameter is uh, measured with 3.5 millimeter. And yeah, that means it you can Theoretically, not fit them on all IEMs, but we talk more about that later on when we talk about additional factors. And yes, uh, this already makes them inferior to SpinFit. And I will be talking about SpinFit a lot in this video as well, because I hope I can flip this around so we can actually see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. See that? This is basically SpinFit. And that means, uh, yes, I have to compare it to SpinFit because if you're already making a tip that is basically SpinFit in terms of how it's working, obviously you have to be compared to SpinFit. And yeah, uh, here, this would be SpinFit CP360 and SS. And let me change the tip. You can already see the first thing here. This is definitely longer than the 360 SpinFit. But you can also see when we look at it like in this uh, angle here, this is more like ball shaped, a bit like wider, while this one is definitely more cone shaped. And that means it will fit your ear quite a bit differently. And also a bit differently is the material. Spin fit are not mega pliable, like still pliable, 
but these are really pliable. I'm not sure how well it's visible in the camera, but even for a material that's not the thinnest, it's really squishable. Like I'm, I'm not sure what, what exact silicon we're using, but it's definitely mega squishable and uh, yeah, this forms very well and confines to ear kernel also pretty damn good. And that then means in real life, this can be a very comfortable tip to wear. And uh, the only pro problem I have with this one, it can be a bit too long on some IEMs. And yeah, again, a few ear kernel is a bit smaller. I have also the problem on some of my IEMs, this is still a bit too big and the tip just squeezes itself out over time. But because it's so pliable and uh, the material is so soft, I just don't have any problems in terms of uh, like pure comfort here. It never got uncomfortable to me and yeah, if I had the right nozzle there, I could wear it for hours and didn't notice much. The only thing that you should keep in mind is the front ring here, as you can see, with spin fit is a bit softer, while with the SD35 uh, here is a bit harder, like the just few pure front part is a bit more difficult to squish. But because it's generally more cone shaped and the outlet diameter is a bit smaller, as you can see here, that's a little bit wider, was not a problem for me and it really fit me very well without any issues. So yes, uh, comfort did like here and um, yeah, you just have to know that this is more cone shaped while uh, normal spin fits are more ball shaped. And yeah, um, in pure ranking wise, and when we talk about uh, uh, tips, I think XL Aztecs, they were most comfortable, followed by cut foam tips, followed by spin fit, which are yeah on the same level as liquid silicon, which are on the same level as ST35. I don't want to like rank them differently. I think uh, the nice thing about spin fits is they come in so many variations, you can find the right thing. But these, just because they're a bit more pliable and it's a bit thinner, the outlet here, they're definitely also on the same comfort level. And then after that, uh, crystal tips and last but not least, finally, that we talk about today. So generally, very comfortable and I do like them for that. Noise isolation on the other hand, yeah, uh, is not great. Uh, similar to other more thin and pliable silicon tips, it does isolate somewhat, but it's really not good. And I would call it maybe average, maybe a bit below that. And uh, for instance, final e-tips or here liquid silicon tips do isolate a bit better. And this then means in my artificial ranking scale, they are like zero, it's the worst isolating silicon tip and then the best isolating foam. This may be managed at five. Like I think if you get it to just fit right on the right nozzle, maybe you can get it to a 5.5, six, I don't want to really say, but like five to 5.5. So like really in the middle, but uh, because there are other uh, silica tips, but definitely isolate better, you would still call it a bit below average. And then let's talk about shaping sound. Again, first I starting off with subject, uh, subjective things. And then we talk about some objective things. And yeah, uh, again, I want to start subjective today by reading you a quote from Didi Hi-Fi. <clears throat> this unique sense of listening is unbiased. It does not change the tuning style, just like the morning air, clean and peaceful. The sound of each instrument is more independent and the borders defined. So they want to tell me this has more sound stage, it has a better separation. Like, I'm not entirely sure, again, this is a bit weird description here, but uh, yeah, let's let's take a look what it actually can to my ear. So first, if you see the nozzle diameter here, it's definitely a bit more narrow. And that then also means to my ear, it does tend to be a bit less forward in the um, like mid, or upper mid to yeah, treble section than more white, silica, more white board tips would be. Here just hold in, this is an older pair of X elastics, that's why it's a bit yellowed. You can definitely see there's a big change in diameter the outlet and this definitely does have more yeah, the treble energy than this one. Also because, again, this could be just because it has like a smaller diameter or because uh, uh, yeah, it does uh, uh, attenuate some treble frequencies here, I think it could still help with bass a bit. It's not a lot, I think, again, the base, uh, like the base quality you get here, is not as good as it is. But for instance, where's my fine lead tip? Do I find lead here? Yep, this is finally, and you can see finally still a bit smaller there. So I still think finally do better with base, but this one at least is definitely better than wider board tips, in my opinion. But it's not a lot again, and I think 
this doesn't change the sound too much. Uh, I just wouldn't call it unbiased because unbiased to what? Like, what is your reference tip? My reference tip is something like XLS, no, no, XLS text, something like this has like a four millimeter uh, outlet diameter that is like medium wide to me. And this is my reference. And compared to that, I would say it is biased. But compared to other tips that have like the same outlet diameter as this one, like this would then not be unbiased. So yeah, it just depends what's your benchmark here and what you're comparing to. And yeah, let's talk about objective things. And again, I will measure this with the H40 and the LZA7. And yeah, uh, as you can see uh, in comparison with the Spinfield CP360, there's a bit less energy between like 6 and 8K and past 10K a bit more. Uh, but again, yeah, the IEC 711 coupler is not reliable past 10K. So I would say just let's ignore everything past 10K. On the LZ A7 row, the story is a bit different here. Uh, treble region is mostly very similar to, for instance, liquid silicon tips, uh, but generally there's a bit more energy than Spinfield CP 360. However, and I have to tell you, I think this might just be a measuring mistake what I did. Maybe I flipped the switch on the, uh, uh, the LZ A7 because there seems to be a base boost of about two decibel here. And I don't think this is a real base boost. Like, Again, as I said, I think this is just a measurement mistake, but again, it's an, uh, also in a smaller bore uh, outlet. So it can happen, but it does maybe boost base a tiny bit. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, definitely to my ear on VA7, I did not notice a base boost. So I think this is just a measurement artifact by me, maybe just flipping the switch or uh, yeah, something else. I cannot confirm, but my ear has two decibels more of base, can't hear that. And then before we come to the verdict, let's take a look at additional factors. And obviously the first big one is you get a nice carrying case for the price of overall $9. And yeah, this is a good carrying case. This open here is very solid. And if you open it, it also has a nice click. It definitely stays shut and you can fit. Yeah, like you can see, it's like four, uh, two pairs already in here. So you could maybe fit like for six pairs in here, six in here, six in here, six in here. Or you just put one pair, one pair, one pair. And they definitely will stay shut and help you to transport your tips. And yeah, I do like this case. Uh, I think well, it might have been a better option if they remove one of the departments here. So you can even put your IEM in this one and just have tips in here. But again, this is just, it's minor improvement maybe. Like you don't need to do that because this is for tips. So it will also be fine like that. And yeah, that's it. Uh, this is definitely nice to have, especially for this price. And uh, next, material-wise, this is a very, uh, very soft material that is very slippery. And that means it definitely is not for everyone. So if you like more sticky tips, this will not be for you. And I generally do prefer more sticky tips. And uh, well, this one fit me still very well, but I just like a bit more grip in my ear. And yeah, this one is not exactly that. But due to that, it's very comfortable and it will never create this like sticky feeling in your ear. And third, um, yeah, the main problem I think of the SD35, this is 3.5 millimeters on the inside and you can definitely not really fit it on white nozzle IEMs. Variations I did try and maybe I could force it on, but I don't want so because even after just wearing it for a couple of weeks on a few IEMs that are not six millimeter nozzles, I definitely do notice that the silicone loosens up a bit here. And that then means uh, I'm not sure how long these will last in the long term, uh, especially if you do like uh, IEM swapping with them. I'm not sure if this is the most reliable or the most dur dur durable uh, tip out there in the market. Um, the XLS, or not the XLS, uh, the normal spin fit here definitely do seem to be more lasting than this one. Uh, even for you can see the outlet or the inner diameter is pretty similar. I still think these are better lasting there because this I had on my uh, variations and you can see it's looking normal. This one though I did not have because I didn't want to force it on. I'm not sure if it's the best choice. So yeah, uh, to summarize, uh, these tips are very, uh, very smooth, um, they're very like I say, slippery. They are pretty stretchy, uh, but maybe not the most lasting one. Oh, and yeah, cleaning, of course, you just rinse some water over and it's fine because they're not sticky at all. Just water is totally enough. And that brings me to the conclusion. 
ja, äh, ST35 vom TD Hi-Fi, äh, basically spin fit, with a bit more cone shaped, for quite a bit less in terms of pricing, and with a carrying case. That is awesome, like we, really, this is one of the best price performance tips I've looked at today, and they will definitely get a high recommendation from me, because yeah, they are basically spin fit, just cheaper, you can't get them in the right uh, sizes maybe, but if you are fine with S like this one with 11 millimeter style meter, it's a very good tip and I don't have many complaints about it. And yeah, especially this price can highly recommend it to you. And yeah, that's it so far. So I yes, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, let me say if you have any other tip recommendations, if you have criticisms, if you have any other feedback, please leave a comment. And with this, don't spectre.